All right, so I'm back here with the uh, with with the Tabotronic with the Cerno uh, hooked up to my PC, and uh, what I want to do is just go over how to calibrate the uh, pieces to connect, you know, the pieces to well attach the pieces to that board, and to also um, just take a quick look at the uh, software here. This is a software specific to the Cerno. They also have some online software. They also have an app called, I think called Sir Ta, Sir Top Fish or something like, yeah, I can't remember the exact name. And also we works with plenty of a third party app that we all know. So um, with that said, I'll, let me show you what I did here. I didn't bother to show you, how, you know, putting the chips on the pieces cause I figured that was kind of boring. You just put the chips on the bottom of the pieces. They're about one, millimeter thick um, you can't really see them under the bottom it doesn't really affect anything um, you can put some felt over top of them if you want um, but but um this is um, you know works well just putting them on the bottom of the felt so it seems um, you when you want to do your extra this is the way you want to initially set the board up there's you, know, you want to put your two queens across from their respective uh, queens and also, if you want to add extra pieces like extra, extra nights or something like that for, to, to circumvent any issues you may have with uh, under promoting, you can also do that as well. So let's jump right in and do that. So first of all, you just want to go right here to calibration. You're going to um, click calibration and then you're just going to hit setup. And then once you hit setup, it's uh, attaching each chip to its respective square. Um, yep, there it is. It works just like that. So let's see if I pick this up. Well, I guess not yet. But oh yeah, it does. It, it removed it from the board. I just want to see. Yeah. So um, as you can saw, it has orange LEDs. And another thing I wanted to mention is that if you want to add pieces, you can just um, obviously go right here to add piece. And say, for example, you want to add a white knight, you just take a chip. For example, I got some extra chips right here. And I can, um, I, I, I believe, remove everything from the board to make sure there's no issues. Just put that chip with that piece on that square you want. I thought about making me some extra knights, but um, I might just hold off on that because just in case I have an issue with another chip. Because he, he did give me two extra chips, and I appreciate that just to show you all what they look like again. And they got 3M tape on the back, so they're real, really sticky. All right, so now let's take the queens off the board and let's uh, let's let's get this puppy a little run here. Let's see what we got here. Let's hit done. Um, let's go to new game. We just want to see. It seems like you can go play on Lee Chess through here, but we're not going to explore online. I just want to just take a quick overview of the app here, of just this one app. Let's see. Let's first of all let's go to options. I'll say options. You can. Um, you know, you can manipulate um, engine parameters here. Uh, oh, we got Houdini, Ripka, Shredder. Wow, so I might need to turn this to update. Let me see what it says, update engines. Okay, so when you update engines, it's like, it, they must have these engines on their server. If you wanna update them, you click that button. So, Stockfish, Houdini, at a strength of 100. So it looks like they have these at just levels and they have actual Shredder and Ripka at uh, ELO. Okay, you also got an analysis engine here, Stockfish 15. Let's see what these three dots here do. It just tells you about what it is. Mess chess. Evaluation speed, not sure what this is. And chess board. Um, just you can it just seems like you can can uh, change things on your board here, like your reaction speed. That probably got something to do with if you're more in the sliding pieces or not, and that sort of thing. All right, so game engine. Let's go back to game engine. Let's set. I don't know if I want to play Stockfish or Houdini. Let's play Houdini on. I wonder can you just? I guess you can. Let's go. Let's play it on level. Let's play it on level ten. Since it seemingly had 100 levels, let's try that. We're gonna hit done, and now we hit new game. I'm assuming you can pick which engine you want to play, right? Let's see, engine. 
Oh, they got a lot of engines here. Look at this. Stockfish, all the Stockfish 15, older version of Stockfish, Simplex Rodent, Trexel, Tarage. Okay, yeah. So maybe Houdini was more of a... Oh, let me go back in there and take a look at it right quick. What does that do again? Let me see something here. We go to options. Strength Houdini. Hmm. Maybe this is more like a analysis engines or something, I guess. All right, so let's go back to new game. Let's try this then. Book. Let's see. Let's play without a book. Let's do that. Depth. Uh, let's give Stockfish skill 20 out of 20. Let's go down to, let's play at least on level five. Let's try level five. And hit done here. Let's see. Oh, you can't play 960 with this. Okay. All right, let's play. Let's do, let's do five, five. Done. Let's give it, uh, let me see what happened. Normal. Okay, I like how they do this. Okay, I'm going to put it in depth level five and I'm going to see what happens. If this is start, by the way, even though it's on these easy levels, I mean, let's, let's just see what happens. I'm going to hit start. All right. So let's play. Uh, I'm going to come out with this here. Oh, so you can go ahead and force a move. Okay, so this is where you set the board up. You can, you can, it was thinking. That's why this square here was lighting up. So, again, they probably have all this stuff on by default. And if you want to turn it off, you can, you can absolutely do that. That's what the board settings came into play. See how these board, this right here just means that the board is thinking. That's what I assume because it's analyzing. And you can force a move. Okay, and it gives you some audible feedback. I don't know if you can hear that, that um, you actually made a move here. So, and you can also speed up the reaction speed as well. Oh, what I want to see, when I, do, when I do my move, does the timer stop before the piece on the actual board stop moving? So let's see. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Now, if I go night to F3, let me check my timer. Okay, so it stops when it moves. Okay, so you can speed that reaction time up as L or whatever time it or whatever it calls inside of the the board here. And again, something like this here, you can turn, again. All this is by default, and we'll we'll explore that here in a minute on how to. Um, Let's do that. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and kick him. I don't know if I want those pawns in the middle of the board like that. Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're gonna push H five. Like I said, all of these, all of these parameters, like the sounds you hear. I know most people may not want to play listen to like a you know sound indicator but again this also letting you know that for visually and uh hearing impaired people this board here has some options that will let you know when the board is thinking and when the move actually executed so that's good that they actually have such such a thing all right so let's move our bishop out here i gotta hurry up and move here let me I'm messing around and lose on time here. 
I don't like to lose now. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're not even gonna worry about that. We're gonna go ahead and let him have that. We're just gonna go ahead and gonna castle. Stockfish level five. This is this is definitely weird that it's that it not has made any obvious mistake on level five, but at the same time, that is twenty-five percent quote unquote of the strength that it's on and I up the um uh pondering I guess if you will or the depth okay let's move the coin out of the line of fire there out and we're just going to go ahead and uh hmm let's hop our night here i see some sacrifices on uh g6 let's see what happens Let's see if he allows this. Probably not. Probably wouldn't be winning anyway, but I still would do it if he allowed me to get that sacrifice on G6. But let's just see what happens. Oh, yeah. I told you he did not. Wow. Okay, Stockfish is actually playing pretty good. Okay. I guess I have to take it. Yeah, I dropped a pawn there. It appears for nothing, but... But nice. I'm, I am playing Stockfish, so... Well, nice. This, uh... Let's see where he goes now. He's threatening my bishop here. Oh, that's okay. Let's move this up here. But again, like I said, I think that overall, the board gives you a lot of options here to, to um, mess around with here. Now, that would be bad. I got myself in a bind here, actually. All right, let's reroute this night. Yeah. What do I expect from him now? Let's see. Yes. Let's do this here. Let's 
Oh, no, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Make sure, okay. Then had the pieces in the middle of the square there. Let's see what we got here. Uh, not too bad. He's definitely... That's one thing about a computer versus a human. They definitely can can play the best waiting moves, the best moves that like do nothing, than ra rather than um, r rather than to have a. Uh, uh, oh, I ran out. Oh, they give you the indication that you're running out of time here. Hmm. All right, let's do this here. So it appears that I th I feel like I could beat this level. It's just that it's just that I I, I did not expect it to play as good as it's playing. Wait a minute. Oh man, I never. Oh, what's going on here? I don't even know what happened here. Oh, there we go. I never moved a piece here. I got to do something here. Let's go ahead and take it. Yep, I'm, I'm going to run out of time. But that's okay. So whenever they get that night down there like that, usually that spells trouble. Yeah, so all these lights, um, again, like I said, if you want to turn these off, again, I think it's really to help visually impaired people. Not too bad. Starfish definitely out finesse me, though. He takes... And I have to take. What? It didn't. Okay, yeah, so you want to speed up the reaction time. Yeah. I see. Yeah, so that's, um, I just wanted to test that out on default. So let me show you. Um, we can hit save on that. And uh, what is it? Save. All right, so we go hit exit and go back to options, go to chessboard. You can have the AI thinking LEDs, you can turn those off. They announce the moves, um, so it's not announcing moves. Check light, you can probably turn it off in the reaction speed, you probably want to turn that up to be faster. So that way that it'll, when you touch the piece down, that it will, reckon, the board will recognize the chip faster. So they do, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I just want to see what the default was like. So anyway, that was, um, you know, th this is the uh, Cerno software, uh, and the first part of the video I showed you how to, to calibrate your chips. So with that said, uh, there'll be more to come on this board. You guys stay tuned and uh, take care.